Uh, with Java 1.6, you've got the JavaX Smart Card I.O. That gives you an API not too different to the WinS card. You accept it's more object orientated, you can get a device, you can, you can get a reader, you can then get a card, you then get a channel to send your OBD use. And that's at the end of the day what you're trying to do. You're trying to detect that the cards are there, what can the card do, can I send my data to it, can I get responses back. As yet, there's no .NET API uh, to uh, to basically Windows. So Windows has WinS card API, but they haven't done the hook of getting uh, from .NET to the WinS card. Over time, I'm sure they'll get around to it. But uh, there are alternatives such as if you write uh, a small server using WinS card, you can then use um, Olay automation and then use the uh, .NET uh, to Olay mapping. So you can make a little bridge within Windows to get around that. And then any device can also have its own custom OEM. Uh, for example, uh, that's not PCSE compliant, it's not uh, uh, WinS card, it's not USB, well it's actually USB, but it's a custom OEM API that would be used to talk to that. Where are we now? Right, so, what are we, so, I've got my cards, I know I, know I can physically talk to them, what shape are we going to make the code that's going to talk to this thing? Well, always a good start is uh, talk to the device that you're going to uh, read the cards with, then wait for a card to appear. This is where you start getting into the, all the um, human interface users, uh, human interface uh, issues around how do you see your card being used. Is it a, um, oh I just arrived and I tap it, or is it I present my card and then once the card's there I then have a long running transaction. Well, that's how it, you've got to work that out with your um, user interface guys. But once you've got a card, you then want to talk to it. So you tell the, uh, the driver, whatever it is, to initiate comms with, with the card. And that will give you an ATR. ATR is answer to reset. What that tells you is um, a few bytes about the card. Now, in the uh, few years ago, it was basically thought, right, if I've got the ATR, I know everything about the card. I know exactly what you can do with it. Not really. All it tells you is the low level how this card talks. It doesn't give you any clue as to the capability of the card. What you need to do is step up a level and the ATR tells you, right, it, it's a card and you, you can talk to it and here are some just interesting facts about it. But, but to really get the, to the, um, the meat of a card, you've got to start sending your APD use. So where do you start? There's a, there's a standard APD which is select application. If you know um, if you're familiar with Olay, there's a query interface. Basically, can you act like this? Can you act like that? Can you act like that? This uh, select file is basically the same thing. I want to select the application X, select the application Y, <coughs> and then the thing will say whether it can do that or not. If it's a global platform card, it may have 20 applications on the card. And what global platform will do, it will step through them. Oh, yes, we'll find one, and then return that to you. So you talk to the application, then it's down to the APDUs that that application card actually supports. And there you would be given a spec right to, to get this data, you do this to get this data, you do that. So you exchange the APDUs according to the application, what you're trying to achieve. Then uh, it's a human interface uh, issue again, wait for the card to be removed from the field and then uh, close the device. Unless of course you can wait for that. Security. Just making something read only doesn't make it secure, but it's always a good start. Right, so if, um, RFID, can you fool RFID? Yes, all you've got to do is make a device which answers exactly the same way. Authentication. Uh, within, uh, within the security realm, right, if you've got these cards representing passport information, uh, uh, financial transactions, financial data, uh, just secure, security access to a building, you want to have these things secure. There are a number of levels that you can go through to make these things secure, but everything is a compromise when you're talking about a little 8-bit CPU uh, on the card. It's got to do the work. So you can, so there has to be a judgment made, are messages encrypted, or are they really authenticated, basically, are they just signed? or are the messages um, in clear where there's no signing because signing takes extra work, encrypting takes extra work. So on a um, APDU by APDU basis, <coughs> the card spec will say, well these things, you can just 
get, get this information for free. Uh, the, or these ones, you need to have some way of generating uh, signed messages or even encrypted messages. Also, um, being able to challenge the cards. I, um, I want to, to challenge that you know X, and if it knows X, then you continue to, uh, to talk um, about other things. Cards uh, may have uh, custom encryption hardware. So within that uh, tunnel, in a silicon, it's got a little like, 8 bit CPU, but it can have um, specialized hardware to do the encryption. So uh, the, the global platform layer will, will hide you from that. If you're using the global platform APIs to do your encryption, if the card has to do its raw, then it does it raw. If it's got specialized hardware, then it'll take advantage of that. So, the last thing you want to know is when I talk about your million cards out in, in everybody's hands, is your, 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 a year later, and then you find, oh my god, if somebody does X, Y, Z, then these cards are compromised. What are you going to do? Can you change it at the back end, or can you change it on the card? If you want to change it on the card, you've got to do a card swap. If you want to change it on the back end, then at least you've got a more manageable problem. Development tools. Um, we're used to using debuggers to step through code. So how are we going to, what are we going to use to assist us writing our, our smart card systems? Uh, with this thing, uh, and also the, the other handheld, uh, they had, uh, they've got simulation systems. So they run on a, uh, on a uh, PC and either they simulate the device or they just use the host system to give you an API level equivalent. And so you can write the, uh, the code using your favorite development environment, uh, code libraries you're used to before you finally um, compile builds and confirm that those builds uh, work.